Welcome back to Terraria. So I got my mushroom farm all grown up. Oops. And as you can see, I've made a few levels here, and also got some mud growing over here. What is this for? Well, I thought I would try to make my own little basement with uh, some underground jungle plants, just because they're pretty. Except uh, it's going really, really slow. I just left the game open as a server because the game runs constantly then and tried to let it grow up and it grew from it was naturally right around here I left the game open for a few hours I think and it only grew up to here and ideally I need it all the way up here I suppose it's halfway but I need it all the way up here and I wanted to make a few floors that are just some nice jungle vines and stuff to admire but oh hey there's tons of copper here guess I don't really need it yeah, I don't need it. Anyway, I figured this will be the last episode of exploring the jungle for now. So I'm getting slightly tired of it. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. When there's only one tile of uh, jungle, or I mean thorns, it can be really hard to see that it'll hurt you, unfortunately. So... Hello, Mr. Plant. We meet again. I'm not sure why, I just love throwing this thorn chakram around, just watching it fly around. I zip around and home in on enemies, it's just really sweet. Okay, you can die now. Oh, whoa. Also, I already missed the uh, double jump item I got in the... Uh, Co-op Let's Play. The Co-op Let's Plays, by the way, uh, I'm not uploading all at once because we did. We record a whole bunch at once. That was close. And okay, we need to reorganize that right now. We do a whole bunch at once, and just a few at a time. A few at a time. Okay, better break that stuff first. Stupid thorns, why do you have to grow now? Okay. Those thorns may have saved me from more damage. But, jeez, why did so many thorns grow this time? What? Where did my stupid... Uh, I'm dropping stuff. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of glowing mushrooms, as you can see. I've got a second stack of them, 99 more. So, shouldn't be running out for a while. If I do, must have been taking some insane no damage. But, ah, get, get, stop, stop that, right, stop, 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 everything stop. Hammer time. Okay, the pain stopped, so let's, oh hey, gold, still want some of that. Yes, I do's. Very good. There it is. But yeah, after this, I figure I will head on down to the corruption. Actually, the corruption is way on the right side of the map. I'm going to take a look to the left and hope that there is corruption to the left, too. The corruption can be a few, can be um, up to two to three places on the map. On a small map, sometimes there's only one, but I'm hoping there's one to the left. If not, I would be annoyed, actually. Let's make a staircase here. Ah, stupid bees! I don't want what you're selling, Mr. Bee. Hornet. Whatever. Still don't like you. No matter how your name is pronounced. We got a bunch of silver that we missed out on somehow. Though... I don't have that much need for silver. Though I do need a better axe. I accidentally sold my axe to the uh, salesman dude, the merchant. Did I get that chest? I must have. 
would have been very dumb not to. Well, but who says I can't be really dumb? I mean, honestly. So, let's just head right back on, and I'm pretty sure I opened that chest, I just must have forgotten to actually break the chest. This is why I break the chests, because then I see the chest again, and I can't really always remember if I opened it or not. This jungle has been, ow, good and exciting in some ways, but it's also been disappointing in that there have been very few jungle shrines that I've actually found. That's, you know, that's where you're supposed to find most of the stuff, ow, in these, you know, the good stuff. I haven't even found that many chests outside of shrines either, so it's been all around fairly disappointing. And you're still here. Oh, hey, I got another nature's gift. Let me guess. Yeah. Just forgot. To... Oh, hey, skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, right. I keep meaning to bring a, a chest down, or a bed down here so I can save in one of the shrines. But it's not really a big deal. I gotta splurt you apart, sir. Kind of nasty. Let's just keep going down. Hope we find something interesting. That's, that's what someone said. Let's go in here. I see light. I see lots of other crap that is not light. I'm not even gonna bother to kill you. I just want some air. I need some room to breathe, man. You're suffocating me in this relationship. Ugh. Nothing up here. Lots of monsters up there, I don't... Well... Let's take a peek down here. Let's catch a breath before we die. Do not like dying. Devotee may remember this. I do not like dying. It's not a pastime that I partake in. Usually. Consensually. Anyway. It happens sometimes other, under other means, but uh, not by choice. Yeah, we must have found that, yeah. Why wasn't I breaking these? Jeez. What's over here? Nothing interesting. Well... There's some iron there, at least. There's more light. Digging down is a lot easier than digging horizontally. So if you need- Whoa! I'm not anticipating that drop. Not really a big problem though. So if you need to just randomly dig, digging down is pretty easy. So do that instead of horizontally digging. Generally. Sometimes you need to dig horizontally just because you know, you're at a level that you know, um, you're at a, a depth level that you know certain stuff happens at. So like, if you know where the jungle is sure to spawn, height-wise, you can just dig out horizontally, but in my experience, that's not a good idea, because the I've seen the forest all the way up at the surface, and I've seen it all the way down, just sitting just above hell, which I hate when it's that deep. Oh dear. Oh crap, nothing can reach me, I'm gonna scream. Okay, this is the one time that reach, well not the one time, but... Oh crap, it can reach me, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, die, 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 die. Splort. Good. Very good. Let's go this way. Um, thorns everywhere. Well, ow. Stop interrupting my sentences! I have things to say. It's not all about you, Mr. Hornet. You are rude and you smell like honey and murder. I don't like either of those things. Unless it's me doing the murdering. Also, the grappling hook will break vines and stuff. And thorns. But, uh, I don't recommend it for a thorn clearing tool unless you're sure that it won't, like, latch you onto something and drag you through the vines. So that would be unfortunate. Ow. 
to do something stupid and take damage like that. Don't be stupid like Tap Tap. Okay, there's Murder down there. There's also Murder up here for you! Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. There you go. Yeah, you like that? You like thorns in your face? That's a weird kink, buddy. But I approve of it. I'm a thorn in face dominatrix. There, uh, is there a male version of dominatrix? I don't... I'm pretty sure it's a feminine word. Oh, crap. Okay. That was less lethal than I was expecting. Which is occasionally a good thing, occasionally not so good thing. I get so used to the key binding as I'm on my alternate character and I forget. Well, whatever I'm mostly playing as, I always remember those key bindings and forget the others. I should keep them all the same, but... Yeah. It's not always an option. I would definitely keep them the same if it... If there weren't an issue. But it is. Die. Remember when I had to kill these by hitting them like 100 times with a weak little pickaxe? Those were... Those were interesting times. Less fortunate times, but interesting. Ugh. Please die. There are too many of you. Isn't this violating some sort of, like, city ordinance? Do jungles have city ordinances? Probably don't. But still, you're violating jungle ordinance. AB 34. No one violates jungle ordinance AB 34 on my watch. Okay, just get the hell out of my way, seriously. Oh. I got eaten by a man-eater. Well, I'm bored with the jungle now. Wait, did I lose, lose much money? I probably did. I lost at least one gold, so that's great. I don't have any speed items, do I? Oh, whatever. Let us see what is this away. Let us see. I miss my speed increasey items. I don't have them in this world. I really do love the items that increase your mobility. I generally prefer them even to stuff that increases just raw defense. Because that's generally the two classes of items you get for accessories. Something that gives you more defense or something that makes you faster or, you know, it generally increases mobility. And... There's also the Feral Claws that increase your speed and some random oddball effects. Ah! Excellent. It's the Corruption. Yeah. And I forgot to bring my Explodey stuff, so this is going to be a boring trip, actually. Sorry about that. So let us... Well, let's be lazy. Laziness for the win. I'm such an inventive namer. You are so slow. It's not really that slow considering it's loading a fair amount of data, but whatever. So are you. So let's just... I'm going to be a terrible person and just store all of this randomly. Actually, wait, I need my money. I have something to buy, finally. Also, I'm going to end up hitting a boss and dying, knowing my luck. But we shall see how that turns out. Because I'm going to buy a crap ton of potions. Also, explodey thingies. What do I need explodey thingies for? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because I need them to break shadow orbs. Well, I need them to reach shadow orbs anyway. What do I need from you? Yeah, sure. This is kind of a waste of money, because I think I can make my own. Still, and, but, whatever. Wait, I may have some stored, actually. Let's see. Oh! I do have a magic mirror. I'm stupid. Hmm. The good news is I have a bunch of seeds for the, uh doing stuff with the whatchamacallit. 
um, lots of mushroom grass seeds. So if I need to relocate my base, I can be all up in your base and stuff. And keep my stuffs. Well, I can make another big mushroom thingy. But yeah, tired of the underground jungle already. Uh, it generally has less dead ends, but getting around can be more a pain. Uh, especially if, you know, you should really have a lot more health than I do to explore it. Um, I have pretty much the best, one of the best weapons you could have to get, to start going into it. You know, unless you're way overpowered for it. But, yeah, you should definitely have better armor and stuff than I went in with. And I really, I'm really annoyed that I don't have more health than I do. But there are only a couple of places where it's, oh, I should have brought stuff to keep my spawn point with me. I always forget to do that. But yeah, you can just create a spawn point inside the corruption, so if you die for some reason, you can just spawn right outside. Or right inside. Dang, it gets dark here. Stupid zombies. Oh, there's lots of you. I'm not used to exploring these chasms. Oh, crap. Ow. Without. Without. Both the ball of light, or the orb of light, and, uh. The whatchamacallit. The, uh, lucky horseshoe actually lets you avoid taking fall damage. Crap. Did you die, please? Thank you. Okay, so this stuff is ebon stone. And you can't break it with a pickaxe. Unless you have the nightmare pickaxe or the molten pickaxe, neither of which I can get yet. The catch-22 is that to get the... Ah. And I got a musket. The stupidest, crappiest weapon you can get from these shadow orbs. But... That does mean that, um, what's his name, the gun store owner can move in. Excellent. As far as there aren't more uh, evil eye thingies following me. What are those called? Demon eyes, yes. Ah, whoa, also soul eaters. Or eaters of souls, same difference. Either way, they eat souls. Also, this stuff has... Ah! Crap. That's called a devourer. And I don't... I don't want to see it. Around here. You don't like your type around here. Your burrowing types. I discriminate against burrowing things that murder me. Actually, I discriminate against all things that murder me, really. It's just... It's just not cool, dude. Yeah, uh, at the bottom of each chasm, there's a chance that there will be a shadow orb, that thing I found and broke before. Ow! Shadow orbs always hold a rare item. Well, kind of a rare item. Can't see. Shoot. There. So, you want to break all of them when you find a corruption pocket. Corruption pockets. Slightly more deadly than hot pockets. Also considerably less tasty. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna kill that worm. It's not really a threat, it's just pissing me off. Which I suppose does make it a threat to its own life. Also shooting star. Let's collect that. After everything, stop trying to kill me! For Pete's sake. I'm getting this star. I'm also destroying the only source of light, because I'm genius. Oh my god! Okay, the devourers look intimidating, but they don't do that much damage. They just are hard to avoid. Or 
and nothing again. Uh, I probably should have gotten the mining helmet to help out here. There you go. Sport. The devourers are pretty much the same as the giant earthworms. They're just a lot more giant and less earthworms. They hurt a lot more and they take a lot more damage. But they're still not that tough in terms of dealing damage. They can just be a pain to kill. Would you please stop spawning everywhere? I really should have done this in daylight, but I didn't pay attention to the time at all. Also, I don't see the moon. Does that mean night is ending soon? Does that mean night is only starting? It should have been a significant amount of time being night already. Why are there so many of you? Is there a blood moon or some shit? keep trying not to swear, but I'm not trying that hard. I don't really care that much. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, wow. Okay. Kind of helps if you plant some torches along the way. Spruce up the joint a bit. Oh, hello! I'll spruce up the joint up with some explosives. Ow. Explosives. Be careful with these, by the way, because if you get within the radius of explosion, they will kill you. Well, not kill you, but they deal about 250 damage, as you can see. Aww, that is lame. Uh, what? You die. I just murdered your buddy. How does that feel? You feel, you feel, you feel good yourself? About yourself? Oh, crap. I'm going to have to waste another stick of TNT. This crap is expensive, by the way. And another musket! Yay! I just love muskets. They're the worst gun in the entire game. They're really slow firing. They deal okay damage. They, they're worse than bows. That's pretty much all I have to say. A bow is better than that gun. That's, that's pretty crappy. Actually, the bows are fairly good. I just never used them. Oop, that is murder stuff. As you can see, it does extremely little damage compared to the other kind of the uh, jungle thorn, but I guess the corruption is like lower level than the jungle, because it's pretty easy to find it. It's very easy to find it. Oh my god. Shoot. It's pretty hard to switch in. You should drop and then just shoot the grappling hook down as you're falling. It's a good way to break your fall. Aw, oh, crap, I brought all my money with me, too. Okay, before I even have a chance to forget, we're gonna go get that money back. Because I do not trust myself to remember to do that. Also, freaking nighttime, will you please end? You are so annoying. Wait, don't end before I can get to that star. Wait, don't end before I can get to that star. Very good. Wait, don't end before I can get to these two stars. Very good. Okay, this was not the worst night in history, so... It's got that going for it. Unfortunately, I have absolutely nothing to use this mana on, because those shadow orbs gave me jack poop. But, still, we're... We're getting somewhere with something, I don't know. Would you please die in a fire? for varying quantities of fire, where, uh, yes! Oh, fallen stars are so delicious. They taste like sugar-coated and molten rock. Two of my favorite tastes in one. Seriously, is it a blood moon or something? There's a lot of things. All of them trying to murder me. Normally there are only a few things trying to murder me. Okay, and the platforming over the dark pits is a lot less annoying when it's daytime. Please stop being nighttime. I think I'm making that. Yep. Yeah. Not gonna make that. Okay. We're gonna get my money back. We're gonna bomb. Ooh. Star. Star. No! 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 You mother! Oh my god! 
And the star is gone. Thanks. I hate you. Ugh. Okay. Whatever. I didn't want that star anyway. I don't know which one of these stupid pits I fell in and died. So that's... Why are there so freaking many? Okay, I obviously explored at least this far. And a little further, because there's... Would you die? Okay, let's drop. No! Stupid person. Okay. Okay. I think I probably fell and died here. No, this is a place that I bombed, but we're getting closer. I hope. Now we're getting closer. Would you stop that? These guys are so much more annoying when you can't kill them pathetically easily. But that's frequently the case, I find. Generally, my annoyance with things grows as my ability to kill it diminishes. It's an unfortunate correlation. Because, you know, if it was annoying but easy to kill, I mean, problem solved. I mean, unless there's some sort of weird, ah, situation where I can't murder something. Not sure when that would be the case. That would, that would just feel wrong. Not murdering something. That's wrong. Would you not? What? Why was there even thorns there? Okay, let's shoot out grappling hooks. Boo. Can't see crap. Ho ho. Well, got my money. And it's an empty pit. I love empty pits that have my money in them. I suppose if it had my money, it's not technically an empty pit. But still. Son of a syphilitic whore. Well, I'm gonna go get that money back, and next time we will stop being morons.